I'll tell you what happens. A few months ago, I recorded a podcast episode with someone amazing. And guess what happened? He had everything set up and he was using Zoom. And in the middle of the uh, interview, we were at least 30 minutes in, his computer crashed. Hey guys, it is Zaley Barclay of StartShootBro.com. Listen, I am your video content creation coach. I help small business owners, online course creators, consultants, and coaches to use video content to actually create an impact and increase their income. But today we are talking to podcasters. We're talking to video creators too, but listen, you guys know how passionate I am about everyone using video content because of how powerful it is. And so a while while ago, I was a guest on the Amazing Girl Boss podcast, and I want to tell you about the experience that I had. First of all, they were so organized. I couldn't believe it. I was like, oh my gosh, like this is absolutely amazing. They had all of the information needed. They had a link. And when I got into that link and or when I clicked on the link and I got into the studio, I was like, whoa. I've never seen anything like this before. As soon as I'm done my interview, I gotta get off here and Google to see what this tool is. Cause you guys know when I see a tool that I love and that I feel is helpful, I go crazy. Cause I'm like, I can see how I can use this in my business and I can see how I can share this with you guys. So. Okay, let's talk about it. In that room, we had two producers and we also had myself and the host. And it was such an awesome, you know, it was an awesome experience. And uh, the host was Puno and she's absolutely amazing at what she does. But oh my gosh, the experience of the high quality video, the producers being able to be in the room, um, no clunky, you know, things trying to uh, load or happen. It was just so seamless. And the audio, you could have told the audio was absolutely amazing. And even the video, oh my gosh. Listen, guys, it's 2021. And if you have a podcast, there's no reason why you should not not be recording video while you're doing that podcast. Here's why. You are able to be found by so many people, especially if you put your content on YouTube. We all know that YouTube is owned by Google. Why not have that amazing content on YouTube as well? People are watching podcasts. And here's the crazy thing, especially on YouTube, if you can hold someone's attention for a full podcast episode, that is going to drive the algorithm up, meaning that it will share your content more and more, meaning that you will be found by more people looking for what you are talking about. So don't only depend on the audio version of that podcast. Hello. <laughs> Think about also redistributing that video onto other social media platforms. There's so much that you can do. And the craziest part is everyone is using tools like Zoom so that you can record that audio, but you're also already in a video call. Why not make it a seamless experience for the person that is there and for yourself? I'll tell you something. This has happened multiple times. I'll tell you what happens. A few months ago, I recorded a podcast episode with someone amazing. And guess what happened? He had everything set up and he was using Zoom. And in the middle of the uh, interview, we were at least 30 minutes in, his computer crashed. And so when his computer crashed, there were two things that we had to figure out. First of all, we got lost. I didn't know what happened. And then I had to wait till he booted his computer back up and got back onto the call. But now I couldn't even like finish because my schedule is usually jam packed. If I'm recording podcasts, if I'm a guest on podcasts, I usually schedule them, you know, all for the same day so that I'm you know, kind of in the mood of batching or mode, sorry, of batching and doing that content, that specific type of content or that specific task. And so I couldn't, I had to run directly into another interview after, so I couldn't finish his. And this has happened to me a few times as well, where I had to reschedule with someone because the sound was bad and they didn't know in the moment of the call or, you know, something happened and, you know, we just had to do it over again. And so Riverside FM is the tool that you want to use if you do have a podcast and you're looking to get into the video game. <sighs> Listen, it's a total game changer. And I'm going to talk to you about why this is a tool that you should be using. And you guys know I don't stand by any and any tool, but this tool is definitely a game changer. And so I wanted to share my experience in how I experienced it as a guest on someone else's podcast so that you can understand from both aspects of the situation. 
All right, so let's dive into why Riverside FM is an amazing choice for you if this is what you're looking to do. I wanna let you know that this video is sponsored by Riverside FM and I had my own Riverside experience that I just shared with you even before they reached out to work with me, which is crazy. Look at how the universe works. <laughs> All right, let's get into it. Okay guys, so I am going to choose audio and video because I want audio and video for this experience. And then I am just gonna make sure, like let's say I do wanna have someone in the waiting room, I will click waiting room so that they can get in there. And I wanna make sure that I'm choosing my video resolution. You can choose 1080p or you can go up to 2160. Yes, and I love that that means that you can record high quality video inside of Riverside. I think that is really genius because we all know that these platforms do want you uploading in high definition quality video content. So whether it's 1080p or 4K, Riverside can facilitate that. To record a screen share, one thing that you should be mindful of is that you're able to keep it as a composed file or you can keep it as separate tracks. So for a composed trial, you can record a composed internet backup with all the tracks merged. But if you're looking for your screen share separately, you would need to record a separate internet track for every participant, including screen shares. So you wanna make sure to select the one that feels right for your project. Now here's another thing that I've experienced personally as well. Sometimes you are chatting with someone and their audio and their video is affected by their internet. So I usually hardwire myself into my computer, meaning that I plug my ethernet cable up in there so I have really great Wi-Fi or sorry, really great internet quality, but that's not the case for a lot of people. The cool thing with Riverside is that this does not, it's not affected because they are locally recording those files for that person and it uploads in the best quality ever. Let me tell you something. Think about if you have an interview with someone you've been waiting to interview forever. Listen, and that happens where they're probably on vacation and their Wi-Fi is not the best or, you know, because their Wi-Fi is not the best, their sound is not coming through great, the video is really bad quality and you can't post that. You don't want that to happen to you. So that's where I am so thankful there are, you know, tools like these for us to actually get the best out of these types of experiences. And, you know, your audio sample rate or if you have an integration, if you want Dropbox in there, you can also choose that as well. And I'll th I think I'll go over a direct workflow of Riverside sometime later on. So let me know if you want me to do that down below in the comments. I would love to know. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna head into that recording studio. And so in here, I love that I can actually set my name, right? And I can let Riverside know if I'm using headphones or if I'm not using headphones. So right now I'm not using headphones and I am just going to choose a default. So obviously I'm not going to show up right now because I'm actually recording with you guys. But guess what? You can even change that camera. So if I go into my built-in camera, this is what it would look like, right? So this is my regular camera from my computer. Hey guys, hey. <laughs> if I'm actually using, you know, I can choose the camera that I want to use. So guess what, guys? I just want to remind you that you don't have to go crazy with this stuff. I am a video coach, so I use my DSLR and all that jazz, but you don't have to do that. You can actually simply just get in here and, you know, use your computer. Like, I'm sure this does not look crazy. If you have like a few lights around you, you'll be fine. You can use your computer camera or you can use your webcam. Do not overthink your podcast video. <laughs> just a little tip. And so now what I want to do is make sure that I have, you know, my speakers that I want to hear through. And for me, I'm just going to choose my regular speakers, right? And that's it. And so then I'm going to hit join studio and let's see what that's like. So because I, like I said before, I'm using my camera from my computer, my built-in camera, that's not too bad. I mean, I would probably move my whiteboard back there, but why, you know, why not just do it like this? <laughs> now, this is the thing. I love that I could just copy this link quickly if I need to send it to my guest. Now, here's one of my pet peeves. Whew. Have you ever clicked on a link 
to get into a podcast and that person is using some kind of brand new software or one of the you know other softwares that we know and they are taking forever because they never use that software and they're trying to download it to their computer that is the worst because sometimes people don't prepare for that in advance i mean now everyone is using zoom but you know it doesn't it wasn't always that way where everyone has it and some people just don't have it sometimes people are waiting to download zoom to their phones or to, to their computers and with riverside i like that they can just click that link and they don't have to download anything and honestly i'll be really honest when i have to download something to my own personal computer to partake in an interview it's a bit of an inconvenience. So I love the fact that I can just click a link and go. The other thing is I can invite by mail, like by email. I can quickly get that together and get that person in there. I love that I'm able to see my volume so I can see if it's too loud or if it's not loud enough. And I can definitely get my people from inside of the waiting room with ease. This is so cool. Here's the thing. This is your studio interface. And it is just so seamless to me, so simple. And you have a media board. I think the, the media board is pretty new, but let me tell you how I can see this media board being an amazing tool. If I am not the person editing my own podcast episodes, imagine someone being able to have all of the tools they need inside of Riverside. So let's say my assistant is gonna help me edit a podcast episode. She can just get in there and have everything readily available. And if, if she has external files or tools that, or sounds or pictures or whatever it is that she might want to use in there, she can upload them into the media board as well, or an intro that we always use, you know, things like that. And that's a game changer for me. So listen, head over to media so you can add something in there. This is our media board. Isn't this so cool, guys? And I can probably do this live. I believe I can, you know. And I'm looking at the wrong camera. So I am going to... So I'm going to stop that cheering, but that is so cool. This is so amazing. Imagine being able to have your own media board in here, your own soundboard in here and not needing anything external to have all of this together. And obviously there's a chat in there. You know, sometimes you want to chat with the person that you're talking to, but back into the studio, what I want to be sure to share is that we are actually able to get into a uh, screen share. So if we want to share something on the screen, we can do that. We can switch our mic out. Um, we can start recording right here. It's so simple. And we can also figure out our speakers and our cameras right here as well. And I just wanna remind you that what you're seeing right now live is not even what it looks like. Automatic backup system. Listen, this means that they don't have to send you their files if you don't have it. They don't have to send you their recordings on their computers. Have you ever heard that? Like sometimes people want you to actually record your stuff on your computer and send it to them just in case theirs didn't come out that great. And with this, you have an automatic backup system. So your video and audio is automatically saved and it does not take long to download that stuff, which is another thing. Sometimes you have to wait hours on end for recordings to process if they're longer recordings and all of that jazz and I love that Riverside just takes care of all of that for you meaning that you're going to get a better view of you know when you get the download it's going to be even better it's going to sound even better than what you're probably hearing or seeing live and I love that they put this little reminder up here to let you know that right says the recordings look and sound much better than what you see live. This is so exciting. So, so, so exciting. So listen, Riverside, you had me at editor. Are you saying that I can just take everything that I've created in your platform and just edit it in there? Let's see. When I tell you I'm so impressed by Riverside, look at this. This is what the editor looks like. And so I think it is so genius. You are able to view your recording. So after you're done recording from the studio, you can head into, you know, view those recordings so you can see what those look like. And then you are able to actually head into the magic editor by just clicking the button based on whatever video you want to see. So in here, I have definitely uh, 
recorded a few versions of a video. And so I'm going to click yes. I'm going to click next. Make sure that's selected. Click next. And I love that I can remove the background noise. So let's say there was a bit of noise in there. I can remove that in here. And then I'm also able to do different things as it pertains to customizations. I can fill the screen so that the screen is filled with whatever I, you know, want it to be filled with as in that video, like, you know, make it whatever you want it to be. I can add media here. So I can probably add something else from, you know, uh, that my library. I think this is so good. I love that you're able to edit in here. I would love to do a full video on this. Let me know if you would want to see that down below as well. But yes, we are seeing it here live and direct. There's a magic editor included inside of the Riverside FM interface. Now you guys know I love me some live streaming and imagine conducting real life interviews and being able to live stream them within all of this as well. For me, that is a no brainer. I love that you can live stream to YouTube or Facebook with Riverside and it's super easy and you still get the videos that I'm talking about. So even if your Wi-Fi isn't that great, like I said before, you can still get high quality video and audio that you could repurpose and post later on. Guys, look at that. You made it all the way through this video with me. Let me know your thoughts about using Riverside FM. Do you feel like this is a tool that you would use if you're looking to take your podcast to the next level? And if you have a friend that has a podcast, I want you to share this. Be sure to share, like, comment, and subscribe for more videos like this. I have more coming on Riverside FM. But since I have not created those videos yet, if you have any question that you want to know down in the comments, or even if I create an update later on, let me know. There's a link to sign up for Riverside down below. So make sure you click that link and let me know what you think about Riverside FM down in the comments if you decide to try it.